This is a patient who comes in with right-sided flank pain and so eventually ended up getting a CT scan with intravenous contrast and there's a bunch of findings here involved in the right kidney. So clearly when we look at the right kidney, it looks like it's enlarged when compared to the left kidney, but also looks like it has very heterogeneous enhancement. Certainly in the upper pole, there are areas of ill-defined hypotenuation. Within that area, there are areas of more low attenuation, almost uh, fluid attenuation in appearance that are thick-rimmed. Some of these are intraparenchymal. As we go upwards, some of these look like they're in the perinephric space extending upwards and perhaps abutting or involving a portion of the liver. Surrounding a lot of this, there's a lot of fat stranding or inflammatory change. So if we take these findings together, right flank pain, this is a great look for pyelonephritis. Um, occasionally with pyelonephritis, you, you can get complications such as abscess formation, and this patient ended up having all these abscesses over here. Another complication that can occur with pyelonephritis, now less commonly, is renal vein thrombosis. So let's look at the renal vein over here. You can see that right around here, there is a filling defect within that right renal vein that extends into that renal vein IVC confluence. And so overall pyelonephritis with abscess and non-occlusive renal vein thrombus.